Hi everyone, it's Robin and welcome back. So today I'm going to be sharing with you two very quick and easy floral arrangements which I recently put together to use during my home spring tour. They are both turned out very beautiful and I hope you all enjoy so keep watching. spring home tour which if you haven't watched that yet I will link that down in the description box I put together two floral arrangements both of which I use faux plants with um, some I found at Walmart some I've had in my stash for years and it was very fun to just kind of make something new for myself so I thought I would share it with you guys in case you're looking for a little bit of inspiration for your own home to add a little pop of a spring florals somewhere in your house or if maybe you're looking for some inspiration for a centerpiece um, any of these items can also be downsized to make like a little side table sort of arrangement which I think would be really really pretty as well so the first arrangement today is one that I made for my living room table so I used a vintage chamber pot which I recently found at the thrift store it had a really beautiful um, floral design on the side and I absolutely loved it. So I wanted something very simple in that because I wanted both the flowers to stand out and I also wanted the floral design on the side to stand out. So I decided to use one single flower type in it and baby's breath, which I recently found at Walmart of all places, was the perfect fit for this particular arrangement. So let me share with you how I did it. It was so incredibly easy. Um, I kind of feel silly showing it to you, but I'm going to do it anyway. So here you go. This is how I put my first floral arrangement together. So recently I went to Walmart and I was looking through their craft section and happened to look through their flowers. And I came across these right here. They are baby's breath, which I think are so cool. Um, they are $2.48 for a stem, so I ended up picking up like four stems. Look at that. Isn't that just gorgeous? So spring-like to me. I just love it. And then I went through my stash and I found this really cool piece of pottery, which has this gorgeous floral on it. I absolutely love this. Now, I'm assuming this is a chamber pot. I'm not really sure. Um, I found it at the thrift store. A while back probably like before Christmas maybe it was a $6.99 it's got a stamp on the back it's just like a crown I think it says CPC I don't know that doesn't mean anything to me but I just thought it was really cool I'm calling it a chamber pot even if it isn't one I love the handle on it I love the florals on it and the floral is on there's a small one and then there's another big one on the other side so I just think this is the coolest thing and this is what I've decided to put my flowers in. I started out by adding some floral foam to the bottom of the container and as you can see I am reusing what I have to just kind of makeshift it all together. I then separated the stems from the bunch and one at a time I started adding them to the arrangement by starting in the middle and then sort of working in a circle on um, radiating out from the middle. As I placed the stems I tried to make sure that um, they were kind of clumped together nice and tightly so that it would make it look full and lush and here you can see off in the background I am cutting the um, bunches apart. I think each bunch had like four to five stems in it. Once I was done cutting them apart I took each piece and sort of separated the flowers just to kind of fluff them out a little bit because they tend to want to kind of tangle around themselves and this just kind of made it look a little more natural I think and then once that was done I could add it to my arrangement. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear this or not but the dogs have decided to eat some breakfast so if you hear a little um, munching in the background that is the puppies having their breakfast. And then from there I just kept adding more and more of the stems until it was nice and full the way I wanted it to be. At the very end when I thought I had it almost done I went around the outside of the container making sure that the stalks were pushed down enough into the container that the edges of the bowl were slightly covered if that makes any sense. Um, I think it gives, gives that 
a nice rounded look to the whole arrangement, which is what I was going for. And that was basically it. Very simple, quick and easy to put together. And I absolutely love the look of it. It's very simple, elegant, and I just think it is fabulous. So I am loving it so much. So for the second floral arrangement today, I used a combination of white and pink peonies, which I've had on hand. I bought them probably like three or four years ago, like a couple bunches of them. I think if I remember correctly at Michael's and I have been using them ever since in different arrangements. Um, I so I used those and a couple filler flowers in an oblong soup train and I put that on my hutch and I absolutely love how it turned out. It's very simple. It has basically just the pink and white um, peonies and just a few little accent flowers and that was all that I really needed. So the second arrangement turned out very beautiful and it seems very spring-like to me, which I absolutely love. So I hope you will enjoy it as well. So this is how I put it together. To start with, I went through my stash of florals and I found some white and pink peonies. I also found some of these white trailing plants. I have no idea what they're called, but I think they are very pretty. And then finally, I found a filler flower with these green, like lime green floral buttons. I'm not sure what they're called either. Then I found a soup tureen that I wanted to use, and I added a piece of floral foam. As you can tell, it has been well used, but it was the only piece I could find, so I had to make do with that. And then I was ready to start building my arrangement. I was working with a very limited number of flowers and I realized I had mostly white so I started with the white in the middle and then I added a pink peony to either side of that. And then finally I added one more white peony in the same row but slightly ahead of it on each side of the pink flowers and that made my back row or middle row. Then in the front, I added another pink, or I'm sorry, white peony, followed by two more pink peonies. If I had more flowers, I would have tried to make it a little bit more mixed up instead of having all the pink together and all the white together. But because I was working with a limited number of flowers to begin with, um, I just had, had to work with what I had. I had two more white peonies, so I added those to the bottom row along the outside, kind of in between the bottom and the top row. And then I started adding the filler plants. And then I started adding in the filler plants. I used this along the bottom edge of my arrangement to fill in the space between the two peonies. As you can see here, there's kind of a little gap between the two peonies, and that's where I stuck the um, trailing plant. And that filled in the gap very nicely, and I really liked the look of it. So I added four of those along the bottom edge. And then finally, I used my lime green filler plant to fill in the gap between the two rows in the front of the arrangement. And I think that added a nice little touch. Concentrating the flowers to the front edge of my containers is a trick that I use all the time when I want to put something like on my hutch where you're not gonna see the back at all. I'm able to use less flowers this way. And as you can see, there's a gap in the back that is open, has no flowers in it, but when you put it on the hutch, you're not able to see it at all, and I still have that full, lush look of an arrangement that I love without having to use as many flowers. So that's just a quick little tip for you if you've never tried that, and I am loving the look of this arrangement. All right, so those are my two quick and easy floral arrangements for the springtime, and oh, I love how they both turned out. The baby's breath one is so simplistic and just gorgeous on its own. In that chamber pot with a floral um, motif on the side, I just think it is absolutely gorgeous and I love it so much. I am a big fan of floral arrangements that are just one flower. Like I use that a lot in my outdoor garden during the summertime, like just one flower in a pot just mass flowers. I just love that look. So this was kind of like a mini version of my um, look that I love outside to use inside. And I just, I think it turned out really nicely. Plus, baby's breath are just so cute. I just think they're adorable. So I was very happy to find those um, baby breath stems um, 
because I'd never, really never seen any before. And I don't know if that's a, like a new thing coming on right now or not, but I'm loving it. So that's awesome. And then, of course, I love the second arrangement as well because I don't know about you guys, but peonies are like one of my favorite flowers in the springtime. I have a couple um, shrubs out in my backyard, but I always seem to miss the peak bloom time because I'm camping. It seems like every single year when they finally open up, I'm gone. So I don't get to enjoy those very often. So I have to resort to the faux <laughs> peonies most of the time, which is fine. They last much longer. And like I said, I bought that bunch of peonies years ago and they are still looking fabulous. And I've used them in multiple, multiple arrangements throughout the years. And this one that I just recently put together is probably one of my favorites. So I am loving that as well. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, give this video a thumbs up and let me know down in the comments what you're thinking. I would love to know your thoughts on these two arrangements. Which one's your favorite? Um, and of course, if you are new to my channel, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. And also don't forget to check me out over on Instagram. I am trying to post over there more, more frequently, like on a daily basis over there. So um, that would be lovely if you guys come check me out over there as well. All right. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys again very soon. Bye now.